And his throw is incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped right, up and picked off. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jackson from the shotgun. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Uh, you like Come that on. one? Well, what does that mean, break out the... Just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I no idea. Well, Charles, you think about the Houston Texans and the turnaround that they've had this year. Double digit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. I have to have to jump in. Oh, there. because you projected this. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Do we remember preseason? <laughs> was there something that was said in preseason? You want to clear your Houston Texans? You want to clear your throat uh -oh. one more time? Let, let me clear my throat. Uh -oh. oh, sorry. What so, are you saying now? Anyway. I wanted to talk about their season and their turnaround. Double-digit wins, and they're in the mix for a first-round bye. And just the way that they've played, I mean, let's remember, 0-3 start. Deshaun Watson said, hey, I don't know how much room there will be on the bandwagon when we get rolling, but apparently there's a lot of room on the bandwagon because they won nine straight, took a loss, and then get back on the beam with a win against the Jets in Week 15. But this is a dangerous team with Deshaun Watson at quarterback. DeAndre Hopkins at wide receiver. They can run the ball with Lamar Miller. And that defense, they come for you, don't they? Led by J.J. Watt. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. Flush to his right. He finds his target, Fuller. And yeah, they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Watson off play action. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, partner, like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and Thank everyone you. out there in Madland as well. And I hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful holidays for all. But as you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of, a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate <laughs> that big chest. But enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. Watson on first down. He'll buy some time right. He's letting this one go for Fuller. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Back to the air, Watson on second down. Buying time to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Baltimore after this. Off of play action, it's Watson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. 
They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket. And they do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. <laughs> To the air yet again, Watson steps away to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He's going to air one out. Got a man open. It's four. For the Texans touchdown. Will Fuller, 32 yards, and the Texans will extend their lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore's offense coming back onto the field. And for the Ravens, Charles, it's really no question that the season sort of changed when Lamar Jackson was put in at quarterback. He ran off four wins in his first five starts, the only loss in that stretch overtime at Kansas City. And he really gave them life, didn't he? He certainly did. And give credit to the Baltimore Ravens staff, led by head coach John Harbaugh, to not only make the change, but institute the type of offense that would get... And that's caught inside the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. Gone, 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 gone. All right, now look at 56. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Ravens have cut it to it in a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Now a first down throw, Watson. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Eric Weddle is one of my favorite players in the league, Brandon. A guy that always seems to be in the right place at the right time, making a play on the football. And he has excellent hands, as we just saw there.
after the interception. Here's Jackson. Crabtree with it over the middle. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Detroit! Detroit! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Jackson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's Detroit, one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Right, now, Six points lucky go by the wayside on that right, now, one. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Going deep for Montgomery. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. More now on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. He's going deep for Brown. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. John Brown, 70 yards. And the Ravens are in for six. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big go chunk back, play back. right away. Yeah, shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second and six just inside the 30. On second down, here's Miller. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of two, now third down. So statistically, 
Both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. And all of a sudden, they're knocking on the door inside Baltimore's 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to throw, Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Here's Watson, flushed out right. His throw incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Watson looks to throw again, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT, a seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Texans are in for six. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Moore now to return. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. They'll start out here with the option left. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. To throw is Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be caught. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play that time for the Ravens. 41 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. On second and goal, there's an option play left. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Off the 
play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. John Brown with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Ravens are in for six. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. And this will be Hills over the end line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So from the 36 now, first and 10. <laughs> on first and 10, Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Watson now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Watson. To the right side, complete to Miller. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. On first down, it's Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 16. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 52 yards. Jackson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Montgomery. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Mark Andrews, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens will extend their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? 
That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken about the 12. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 43. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson over the middle. That's caught by QT. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll lead here to a third down. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught at the 10. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on.